Hello all. So in this lecture, you will see about uh, problems related to relational algebra. So usually in question paper, we can see uh, different problems based on relational algebra. So this is the question that I am going to uh, discuss. This is in the model question paper of your syllabus. So we have different tables are given and uh, the foreign key is given. So you have to remember that whatever it is underlined, it is unique. Okay, E number, D number, P number are all unique values. And it is mentioned D num is foreign key. So D num, it is in employee table. This is foreign key means this D num is used to uh, identify the employee who manages the department. So it is not actually managed. So uh, there is a department. So D num to D number. So this is the foreign key. So this foreign key will be primary key for some other table. Similarly, the CD number. CD number is in project table. It's a foreign key identifying the department that controls the project. So CD number is a foreign key to this department. Uh, to this department uh, so this will be uh, see, it's a foreign key to the department so it may it will be mapped to this D number okay now uh, super ENO super ENO is a foreign key identifying the super SI so it is in this table itself so we can this means this is the ID of the supervisor so every employee will have some supervisor so it is the ID of that supervisor Okay, now we have to write some relational algebra. This is not SQL. We have to write relational algebra expressions for the following queries. There are some queries that I give. So it is 14 marks. So it is easy to solve these problems. So before that, you have to understand some operations in relational algebra, some basic operations which, with which you can solve all these kind of problems. So first operation is select operation. So select operation is used to select a subset of the tuples or rows from a relation that satisfies so if you want to select subset of tuples that if you want to select only a few rows from a huge table then we call it as select operation and it is based on some condition okay it is a filter it's like a filter that keeps only those rows that satisfy the qualifying conditions so select operation is denoted using the symbol sigma then we will specify the select selection condition and this is a table name or the relation name okay so sigma is used to denote the selection operator selection condition is it is a boolean expression it can be any boolean expression equal to less than or and any boolean expression can be then to select the employee tuples whose department number is 4 so if you want to select the employee tuples whose department number is 4 we can simply write a relational algebra curry like this sigma d number d number is the department number equal to 4 from employee so this will select only those employees with department number equal to 4 okay now if we want to select whose salary is greater than thirty thousand dollar we can simply mention sigma salary greater than thirty thousand from employee so this will select so it's a subset of the uh, rows we will get a subset so those employees with salary greater than 30,000 will only be listed in the output so output is also a table we will get the output as a table and it will be the subset of the whole employee table so that is the select operation so this is an example uh, uh, if you have a table a table like this and if you are specifying so, so this can be any complicated condition also so this is a lengthy condition so the meaning of this is uh, we have to select the rows we have to select the rows with department number equal to 5 and salary greater than 25,000 so we have to select department number equal to 4 we have 1 2 3 and from that we have to select salary greater than 25,000 so we greater than so equal to should not be considered so we have this person Jennifer and only Jennifer is there from this then or one more condition is there so this is or and we have to select the, the persons who are belonging to department number 5. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 are there. And salary should be greater than 30,000. So greater than 30,000, we have one person. Then we have uh, this person. Uh, only two persons are there. So this is the condition. So this is the whole condition will be applied onto employee table. And the result will be like this. So we have three employees. So this is a subset. So this is another table what we got. 
after this select operation. So this is the thing you have to do for select operation. Okay. Then we have another operation we call it as projection. So if you want to select certain columns, so we are selecting here certain rows. If you want to select certain columns, so if you want to select only the names of those persons, we won't we want to ignore all those columns, then we can use this project operation. So it is used to select columns from the table and discard other columns. It is called vertical partitioning. So for example, to list to each employee's first name, last name, and salary, we can simply use. So pi is used to denote project operation. So project pi, last name, first name, salary of employee. So it means only those uh, columns will be listed in the. So this is also another table. We will get the result as a table and in that table we have only three columns. Okay. So general format of the project operation is like this. You have to mention the all the attributes. So we have to mention the attributes and the table name. So pi is the symbol used. Attribute list is the desired list of attributes which all list should, uh, attributes should be shown. So it will remove any duplicate tuples also. If there are duplicate tuples, it will be removed. Maybe duplicate, if we select only two, three columns, then there can be duplicate values also. So it will be removed. So this is an example. So employee table and we are applying projection project operation in this table. We are selecting only last name, first name, salary. So last name, first name and salary. Only three columns will be listed. So this these are the three columns that will be listed. Okay. So this is known as project operation. Okay. Then if you are selecting only uh, sex and salary, so there will be duplicates because we have uh, same salary and same sex, there will be different persons. So we can see F25,000, here also F25,000. So in that case, duplicate tuples will be eliminated. Only F1, F25,000 will be listed in the output. Okay, so this is known as project operation. Now we have another one more unary operation, rename operation. So it is uh, it apply uh, we can apply several if you want to apply several operations one after the other we want to store that temporary result so write the operations as a single relation algebra it will be a very difficult thing to apply if you want have if you want to have multiple operations it is very difficult to include in a single statement so what we can do is we will store it in a temporary table so apply one operation at a time and we store that intermediate table so intermediate result is a table so we store it in a table we call we give a name to that table so that is known as retrieve operation for example if you want to retrieve the first name last name and salary of all employees who work in department number five so we have to select the employees who are working in department number five so this way we can write so all the employees will be listed and from that we are going to project only the first name last name and salary but we can write the same query in two steps like first you will select this operation so we will select all the employees with the department number of five and we store it in a new table so this is a new table now we apply this project operation on to this table so we will apply project first name last name on to this table and you will get a result table that is a table which contain all the output so this is an example so if you apply like this you will get the operation like this or you can store like this so we will select employees with this then uh, you will get that intermediate result so this table is known as temp temp now we are going to project it now we are going to project that temp table we are displaying only first name last name salary and we are going to rename it we are renaming it actually the name was f name last name and salary and we are renaming F name and last name to first name and last name. So the output table will be like this. The name of the output table is R. So it is R. Then the F name, it is projected. But the name we have changed to first name. L name has been changed to last name. Salary, it is salary itself here. So salary. So this way we can rename. So that is known as rename operation. To store temporary results also we can rename the attributes. Then there is another important operation, a join operation. It is the sequence of Cartesian product followed by select operation. So it is denoted using this symbol. It's like railway sim gate symbol. So allow us to process relationships among relations. For example, if we have two relations, uh, two tables, if we want to retrieve some information that is available 
that is present in both the tables then we need to join these tables we have to uh, mix these tables then only we can get the output so that is why we use this join operation so r and s tables will be combined joined using some condition okay so we will see example then you will understand so if you want to retrieve the na name of the manager of each department so this is the employee table and this is a department table we want the name of the manager so manager name is present in this employee table first name middle name initial that is a name so in this department table we have the manager assessment value but we don't know what is the name of that particular person okay so if we want to retrieve the name what we have to do is we have to join these two tables to form a single table then we can retrieve the name first name and last name so for that we can perform like this department and employee will be joined using some join condition so here the join condition is manager assessment equal to this assessment value so if both are equal then these tables will be joined and we will get the table like this department uh, join so the resultant table will be like this we have named that as department manager so we will get the table like this so we can see that only the, those rows which satisfy this condition that is manager assessment equal to assessment will be joined so all the attributes of the first table will be there so department table we have one two three four attributes so those, those four attributes will be present and all the attributes of the uh, employee table will also be present in the, in the resulting table so all the attributes will be there now if i want to retrieve the name you can simply project this department manager you can simply project this department name comma last name and first name from this table so i want the last name and first name or if you want middle initial also can be projected so if you project this the resultant table will show that name and the department uh, name also <coughs> so this is the example this is another example we have m names and department so if you want to find the dependents so if we perform this cross product so i have already mentioned that join pro operation is actually cross product followed by select condition so this is actually cross product that is what is happening a cross b you have already studied in set theory in max a cross b means all the elements if it is 1 2 and a, another set b is a b then we have 1 a 1 b 2 a 2 b like that it is a set of all elements similarly you can join all these tables cross product means you can cross a cross product okay so cross product you will get the result and after that we will be selecting so these two operations together is known as actually join operation so you need not worry about cross product and all we will think about join operation alone so you can simply join using this join condition okay we will see an example then you will understand then uh, join operation uh, join condition can be of this case so any condition and operation using this and operation you can join any number of conditions okay so where each condition uh, it is of the form a theta so this condition will be a form a theta b so it is between two attributes okay a less than b and b c less than c like that any number of conditions can be so we call it as theta so it is theta join it is so theta can be any operation like equal to less than less than or equal to greater than or greater or equal to not equal to so this condition can be anything so this join operation general join operation is known as theta join if you are not specifying that equal to or less than then it is not it is known as theta join then we have equi join that is the most common use of join we use in in all the examples or and all the problems we use only EQ join operation. So EQ join the comparison operation is only equal to. So the previous example we have already seen is EQ join. So we are joining these two tables based on equality condition equal to. When this is equal, we will be joining these tables. So this is known as EQ join operation. So this is also EQ join operation. Okay. So after EQ join, we will get a result like this. Okay then the actual dependence of these tables are like this then there is another one more operation we call it as natural join so natural join occurs because if you see in this equi join we can see this manager assessment value the the values and this assessment value is same 
because we have equated even though we have equated this both the attributes all the attributes of department all the employee attributes will be in the resultant table so this is actually repetition of information sys manager assessment and ssn are storing the same values okay so if we are removing this we call this attributes as superfluous attributes uh, or unwanted attributes so if we remove one of these uh, rows then it becomes natural join so that is the only difference it is natural join is a equi join but the only condition is the second set of attributes will not be there so this row this column won't be there so it is denoted by star asterisk then we uh, we get rid of the second attribute that is superfluous attributes unwanted attribute in equi join condition so that is all so only condition here is natural join the join attributes should be have the same name in both relations so here it is not same name here it is manager ss and ss so what we have to do is we have to rename it to manager ss and then or ss and any of the values should be same then you can perform natural join operation okay okay uh, need not worry about this thing so if you see this example manager ss and if you want to perform this Uh, join among these two tables we have to join uh, based on d number because here it is department a here it we can equate equi join can be applied d number equal to d number but to perform natural join we have to rename any of this uh, attribute because th the name should be same then only we can perform natural join so we what we do is we will perform project star department before doing that we will rename this department table row row operator is for renaming so we will be renaming it d num d name it is same but we have renamed this d number to d num so this d num and this d num will be equal then only we can perform this natural join because the name should be same d num manager ss and manager ss d so simple okay so we can do in this way also we can do this in two steps so in first step we will rename it and we will name it as a different table then after that we can do this uh, join operation project star department okay we have performed rename so the resultant will be like this we can see this only one dnum is there we won't get the second dnum so only one so this is actually equi join itself we are uh, comparing this equality operator only d num equal to d number the only thing is second column will be uh, will not be there so we have to understand what is natural join so this is another example so if we perform here uh, this is possible because this d number and d number is same so this will be equa equated and we will get the resultant table like this okay now we will come to the problem so if you know if you have understand all understood all these things then you can easily solve this problem this is very simple you can simply score this marks <coughs> so first question is <coughs> name of female employees whose salary is more than 20000 <coughs> so we have we have to get names names so the final table the final projection operation con will consist only of the name attribute so name is present in this employee table okay and we want only the female employee details so from this table itself we know gender gender equal to f okay and uh, whose uh, salary is more than 30000 so in this table itself it is there salary is value is also there so we can simply write a query so what you have to do is oh this is not showing here i don't know it is missing here so what you have to do is uh this uh, we have to select that operation you have to use sigma operation we will be selecting what all things select gender equal to 5 and salary greater than 1000 so we will get the subset of those rows so if we select uh, gender equal to f gender equal to f means all the female employees and what is another condition salary greater than 20000 so if satisfying those two conditions uh, all the rows will be listed all the rows will be listed okay so we will get the subset of that table now after that what you have to do we want only the employees 
so we have want only the names so ignore this uh, this thing so we want only the name of that employee so name means it is here name itself so we want to project only the name column so we have to simply project we have to apply this project operation on this table so project name of the same thing so after applying the sigma we will get subset of rows after that we will simply apply project so we can split this into various steps in another way we can simply write we will uh, call a new column a new new table female and here it is sigma we will select this we will apply this operation and we will get that table and it is the name of that table is female now we apply project operation project of name onto this female table okay onto this female table then you will get the names of all female employees with uh, gray salary greater than 20000 so both ways we can do this we have done in a single step so single line is enough so you have to apply if you want to select you have to apply sigma uh, if you select if you want to select a subset of rows you have to apply sigma if you want to up, uh, select only some columns you have to apply project operation so by this you can get the result so only these two steps you will get uh, three marks or something now we will see the second question salary of employee from accounts department so there is a problem here salary is in this table but accounts we don't know the name of the department he is working for that is present in another table department so it is present in this table department name so accounts details uh, name of that uh, department is present in the department table so what you have to do so one data is in this table and the second data is in this table so salary is in this table and so we have to project all the salaries of employee from accounts department and accounts details is in this department name is in this table so what you have to do is we have to join these two tables so it is already mentioned dnum is a foreign key that identifies the department to which an employee belongs to so he here it is uh, we know that D number and we have this D number these both are same even though the name is different this D number and this department number are both same so what you have to do is we have to perform an EQ join D number equal to D number when we EQ join these two tables will be joined together then after that what you have to do we have to just project what you have to get project the salaries where account equal to uh, where depart uh, name equal to uh, accounts so we can simply apply first what you have to do employee and department should be joined together based on this condition department number equal to department number so based on that we all the attributes of the first table and the, all the attributes of second table will be joined together so we call that table as m department okay now what is the second question we have to select the employees who are working in the accounts department so this table will contain all the department employees so we want only the uh, accounts employees so we can write this so ignore this rectangles it is it has accidentally come so m departments equal to we have to select sigma d name equal to accounts from m department so this means we are selecting uh, from this table we have all the employees table now we are going to select only the employees who are working in department uh, accounts so we have to select sigma d name equal to uh, accounts from this accounts department so, sorry from this M department so we will call it as m accounts okay now m accounts contains all the employees working in accounts department now what is the other condition we have to apply we have to we want only the salaries of employee we have to project only the salaries we don't want all the other details so we have to project only the salaries so we have to project only pi salary of m accounts so we will get the salary details that's all we will simply project that column alone from this table so this is a solution so we can simply write all together in a single step also so um, m department so we will be joining these two tables then we can write these two steps in a single step so project salary 
and you have to select the name equal to the accounts from M department. So we are combining these two steps together and writing it together in a single step. So this way also you can write. So it is very simple. You will get, uh, I think you will get two and a half marks for this uh, when you write these two, three steps. Then the third question. So five questions, you will get 14 marks. Now the third question is names of employees along with his or supervisor's name. So this is a tricky question because we have to names of uh, find the names of all employees. So it is in available in this table along with his her, her supervisor's name, supervisor's details. So this super E N O, a super employee number. So it is also available in this table itself. So every employee, if there is an employee number one, he will have a supervisor, maybe an employee number two will be a supervisor. Now both the data is present in this table alone. And we have to perform. So we need to get data from this table itself. So how to solve this guy, this problem? So names of employee with the supervisor. So what I will do is I will join employee and employee. I am going to join employee with employee itself and I am going to specify the condition E number equal to super ENO. So what we will get the resultant table will be the table with uh, all who are all supervisors. So every employee may not be a supervisor in a company. There will be only a few supervisors. Maybe if there are 100 employees to supervise those 100 employees you might have 10 supervisors. Okay. So all the employees are not supervisors. So what I will do is I will first find out the supervisors only. I will find out who are all the supervisors. For that I will be joining employee and employee based on E number equal to super E number. So employee and I am joining employee based on E number equal to super E number. So based on this we will get a new table that is super table. I will call it a super table. But the problem here is there. There is a problem here. If you perform this join operation like this, there is a problem. You can't do the like this. This is a problem because it results in duplicate column names because I am joining employee and employee. So the attribute names of employee and attribute names of employee are same. So when I join, I will get the same name here in the second there will be two names present there two addresses present two date of birth present so there will be two columns for date of birth two columns for age so it is duplicate i don't know from which table it belongs so it you cannot solve like this you cannot simply join like this so there is another way to solve that okay so what i will do is i will create a new table so i want only actually the resultant you have to see I want only the names of employees. So I need not worry about address, date of birth, age, and gender, all these things. I want only names of this supervisors and also employees name. So I can ignore the rest of the thing. So what I am going to do is I will just ignore uh, the rest of the things for the supervisors. So I will just list out the supervisors S name, comma, S number. So how it is? I will project only the name comma super number from employee name comma super number from employee okay so we will get a s name comma I will name it as uh, s name comma s number then after that what you have to do is I am going to perform employee uh, and super so I am going to join this using this uh, super number equal to s num condition and you will get a super employee and from that I am going to project only the name and S name from super employee. So you will get the names of all the employees with the uh, name and also supervisor. There is some problem here also. Uh, actually there is some mistake here. So you have to correct it. Uh, actually you cannot project name comma super assistant because name is actually employee number. So before that you have to perform this join operation and after that you have to project this operation. So you can think like that. So you have to perform a join operation and before joining it you have to rename that uh, second employee table. So you have to perform a join operation before this one but you have to rename all those things. And after performing rename only you have to perform this uh, project operation otherwise this will be wrong. Okay I have missed one step so you have to correct it. Okay. 
Now the next question is for each employee, return name of the employee along with his department name and name of projects in which, in, in which he or she works. So, uh, so here for each employee, for each employee, uh, return name of the uh, employee along with his department name. So department name is present in this table and the names of the projects in which he or she works. So this, there is a problem with this question. Uh, you cannot solve this question because the problem is here, we do not know which all projects a person is working. That is not mentioned in anywhere of this table. So if we say this in this table, we have no project details present. In this table, we do not have any project details present. In the third table, we have project details. But we do not know which all persons are working on a project table. So actually they have missed some one uh, table or that question is wrong because this is unsolvable. We cannot uh, return the name of because uh, we do not know which all projects, which all employees are working from these three tables. It is not possible. It is not possible to find out because we know employee uh, is working on some department and that dip under that department there are some projects but every employee may not be working on that project uh, there will be so we from these three tables we will get this information that is employee some employees are work uh, all the employees are working on some departments okay then we can get from this table we know which all departments are controlling which all projects that also we can get from these two tables but we cannot say that a, depart, a person who is belonging to computer science de department is working on all the projects under the department. So it is not possible to solve this D, D question. So this is actually unsolvable. It is a wrong question. It is unsolvable. Then uh, solution to E, we will see what is this. So we have to display names of employees working in all the departments. I don't know why this question is there names of all employees working in all the departments so we'll get the answer from this itself because if every employee has some department we have to simply uh, project the name from this employee table so we'll get the employee names because every employee will be assigned some department okay then you can simply uh, say the result like this project name of employee so you will get the names of all employees working in all departments I don't know why uh, that question has come. So this is the only step you can do in that solution. E. But uh, in another way, if you want, you can think. Maybe some employees may not be given some department at all. There may be cases. Maybe a CEO of the company may not have any department. So in another way, you can think. If you can think in another way, you so this both answers are correct. So this is also correct. Uh, in another way, they have not mentioned that every employee will be working on a department. So there is a possibility that there will be some employees will uh, who have department number equal to none. So we will select employees, only those employees who have some department value. So if you see in this table, if that DNM value, if none is mentioned, that means that employee does not have a department. So we will check, we will select all those employees who have departments only, who have uh, not null values in D number tape, D number column. So that is what we are doing here. So what we do is, so you ignore these rectangles. So uh, sigma D num equal to none. So we will be selecting uh, from the employee table, we will be selecting those rows where D number equal to none. So we call that by the name employee with department. So these are the, this resultant will be the tables uh, with the employees with the with who have departments so in certain cases employees may not have departments okay so that is why we are mentioned not equal to null so we will select all the employees who have departments and from that table we will simply project name from this table you can get the employees who are working in all departments so that's all so it is very easy to solve we have to learn only sigma project and join operation okay by this you can solve any kind of problem so you have to understand the question uh, you have to see which all attributes are present on which all tables so if it is from two tables you have to you require 
to find out the output then you have to join perform an EQ join on those two tables it is not necessary EQ join you can perform natural join also you need not worry if it is not mentioned in the question to perform natural join you simply perform EQ join don't worry about that superfluous and attribute and all you simply perform EQ join operation so the join tables will be joined then you can retrieve or project or select any data from that join table so that's all so that's all thank you